Hello everybody, welcome to Red Toolhouse. Well today we're going to be doing some milling and we're going to mill in up to 40 mile an hour wind gusts. So we'll see how this goes. Come along. So milling in the wind really isn't that big a deal. It's, uh, it's when you're felling trees that, that becomes an issue. Uh, probably just end up getting a snoot full of sawdust so we'll have to uh, take that in consideration. But I've got this cherry log here that I drug down off the hill a while back. It was an uproot and I just wanted to get it out of the way. And you can see it's pretty gnarly looking log. It uh, isn't big in diameter and uh, of course has a huge dog leg in it. And uh, it's really not, not that big. In fact, we're looking at, we're looking right at 11 inches in diameter on this butt end. And to that dog leg is, right at eight feet before we start to see that turn. So I'm going to I'm going to cut this dog leg out of it. Mill the big log first and just see what we get. All right, before we go any further, I just want to say I love the comments I get from you guys and I love the engagement. It's, even though we're not face-to-face -face talking, I feel like I have conversations with you all on a regular basis. So I want to have a little contest in honor of that. You guys seem to notice stuff in the background all the time and it's just, just kind of funny some of the things that are seen that Kelly and I don't even see, but you guys see them. So the contest is See if you can identify what's not quite right on my tractor. There's been a um, re recent mechanical work that was needed and there's something physically that you can see that's not quite right. And I'm not talking cosmetic like the gas filler lid's broken off or the headlights are busted out. There's just something that's not been put back quite right. And uh, I'm not to blame for this. It was actually some, uh, some mechanic work that I had done. Uh, so, first person to comment below, being able to identify it, um, we'll give you a shout out and we'll figure out some sort of prize or something. Maybe a digital pad on the back. But see if you can spot it. I'm curious. See, this is a test to all you hawk eyes out there. The log's a little uglier than I thought. Oh, go away, woolly worm. Get off my log, fool. So why even mess with a log this small and this curvy? Well, obviously the only reason is because of the species, cherry. Um, we don't have a ton of cherry here on the farm. Uh, there's a, a decent amount. Had a lot timbered 20 years ago. So what's coming back is smaller. But um, I like cherry in the wood shop. We've talked in previous videos, I'll link to it here, about how cherry is bad for your livestock. Uh, but once it's on the ground, I like it for the workshop. It's really uh, a fun wood to work. It's, it's a hard wood, but yet it's not super hard. doesn't have a hard density. Uh, that makes a lot of sense, right? Um, it does burn a little easy on your, on your tools. That's why you got to have sharp tools. Your router bits, your, uh, your uh, table saw blades, you can leave a burn mark in it pretty easily. Uh, but man, when it's, uh, once it's cut and it's in a piece of 
furniture and you've let it patina over some years, let it stay, stay outside and oxidize, it really turns a beautiful um, dark cherry color. So what I want to do with this log is just square it. I'm not going to slab it, we're going to square it. So we're going to take all uh, the slabs off all four sides, get a square cant, and then just uh, mill it, probably mill a four quarter, uh, maybe a five quarter, just to see how it shakes out first as far as the cant size. Because this is something that I'm going to put in the barn, let it air dry, and maybe the end of this summer, early fall, depending on our humidities like, uh, be able to get this down, put it in the workshop, and I've got some areas in the house that I'm still trimming out. Kelly would say most of the areas in the house. But uh, there's one spot in particular, what I call my office, that has a cherry floor, has a lot of cherry details, has some cherry bookcases there. I want to do some small um, baseboard and some other trim details in there. And I, I think this cherry, it's a small office, so I think this cherry log may give me enough, especially if I can get uh, some more uh, five quarter boards or four quarter boards out of that other log. So let's start cutting. Right, so out of that uh, little cherry log, I got eight, eight, I got five really good four quarter boards. Um, the sixth one is was my last cut, so I was cutting the you know, bows a little, so it's a little thinner in the middle. But the uh, width of these guys is yeah, just just over eight inches wide. So uh, eight feet long, eight inches wide, four quarter thick. This right here alone would be enough to do the trim work that I need to do, but um, I'm going to go ahead and cut that next, take another 8 or 10 foot log out of that next 
part of that cherry and see if it's worth milling. It, it gets small pretty quick, but let's go ahead and throw it on the mill and see what it looks like. <laughs> Every once in a while I can hear with that wind, uh, it's making more work for me up in the woods. I can hear trees crashing down. In fact, I heard a really loud pop here a second ago. I don't know if you can see this beech tree. It's further up right at the edge of the pasture, just up from the metal roof that you can see in the camera. It's got a gangster lean going on pretty good. It popped really loud and uh, it's, I think it's working its way over. That one may not make it through the rest of the day. So we'll see how it goes. That, <laughs> wow, I don't know if you saw that. My fence just jumped and looked way down the pasture and a big branch came out of a red oak and just hit my fence. Wind, love it. I think we'll go nine feet. I got another pretty good dog leg right there. So I'm gonna cut. Nine, that should be good. Toad love, leave me alone. Toad love, they're a eclectic song, wasn't it? Almost picked that up and throw it on there. Yeah. Yeah, that cherry is some good looking wood. See the pretty color of that. Now obviously this is wet. It looks almost pinkish when it's been freshly cut. You can see you know, right there in that spot. But if I was to leave this board laying here for a month or two in the sun, it would get really, really dark. And it's funny, I've I've made furniture, I've been doing this for almost 20 years. So um, furniture I have in the house and then uh, customers that uh, have some of my furniture still just so, so dark. I mean, it looks like, it looks like something could be 200 years old as patinaed as it is. That's why I love cherry. Really a good looking wood. But this last board, last log I got, yeah, maybe three nice six inch wide boards, four quarter out of it. So that's where that starts to rub against. Does it make sense to burn the gas and then dull the blade cutting four sides off a log and uh, for only a yield of of three boards <clears throat> yeah maybe maybe not it just depends on what you're looking for and what you need if you're desperate for cherry then it makes sense as you can see here when i did the last turn this log had a pretty good fish belly in it uh, so i had to uh, when i cut that out of course i lost a lot of material there to uh, to get that fish belly out but is what it is. Again, that was a log just laying on the ground and uprooted just right here beside the barn. So just drug it down with a winch and put it on the mill. Well, if you guys have figured out, I had a lot of shots uh, of the tractor there. And so the issue I'm speaking of would have been visible. So I'm curious to see if you eagle eyes picked up on it. So comment below. First one that mentions it in chronological order, you get the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody.